Easily use Laravel query scopes. When you're building a project where you support multiple languages and currencies, there is an option for your users to choose their preferred language and currency from a huge list to use your application. Also, there are admins who can add more languages and currencies to the system. They can also disable specific languages and currencies if they want. You want to show your users only those languages and currencies which are currently enabled. So how do you do it? There are multiple ways to do it. You can use soft deletes, or you can use your own database field X active or publish or status as a flag. Let's use the second approach. Why not the first approach? I'll tell you later. We will have a database like this. Languages, name, short name, status, currencies, name, symbol, status. And this is how we return the lists. Now if we look at the code, then we will see that the WHERE clause is the same for both queries. You may have more tables similar to the languages and currencies table. And the WHERE clause will be the same for them too. So the same clause is getting repeated again and again. So, how do we make this better? Here Laravel query scope comes into play. If you need the same logic for many different queries then query scope is the way to go. You can extract a part of your query and put it in your model to simplify your query in the controller. Laravel offers both global and local scopes. Using global scope. First, create a class in app or scopes that implements. Illuminate scope, database scope, eloquent scope interface. Now assign the scope to your models. Do the same for other models. After that our eloquent query will look like this. This will return us all the entries that are active. By the way, we could have obtained the same result by using soft deletes. Soft deletes itself is a scope provided by Laravel. There is no specific reason behind why I didn't use soft deletes. I just wanted to make my own scope. Using local scope. Now, what if you have a category and a post model which contains a field status, which can contain any of these values published or draft or pending. We can solve this by passing a parameter to our scope. But the problem is you cannot pass dynamic parameters to the global scope. So, we will have to use local scope. We can assign multiple local scopes to our model and chain the scopes to get expected results. Bonus scopes. There are more scopes that you can use. Like anonymous global scope. This allows you to define global scope using closure inside your model. I hope you were able to benefit from watching this video. Please feel free to share your thoughts and suggestions.